In this video, we'll go ahead and power the drive up and actually watch it run. So as the drive powers up, all the LEDs cycle through. And with any of our drive, a green LED indicates everything is fine. Our amber LED indicates an alarm condition and a red LED indicates a fault condition. So as the drive powered up, I've got Ethernet traffic now showing up on A1. I've got my line power LED is solid green, which means I've got line power. If I turn the local disconnect off, the line power LED starts to flash green. The control power still stays up. Net A is solid green, that means I've got an active network connection. If I turn the line power back on, the line power LED goes solid green. I've got some I.O. that's reporting back on both sides, the safety I.O. and standard I.O. I've got a safety fault right now, and my drive status is flashing red. That means the drive's faulted out, but this is because the drive has just powered up, and I still need to clear faults. I can clear faults from the clear fault button on the keypad, but the way I've got it configured, I'll have to clear fault from the clear fault button on the pedestal. After pressing the clear fault button, you can see the status light is now flashing green. The drive's ready. Safety fault is gone away. Safe torque off. Everything's in a ready condition. So at this point, I can run the drive. I'll run the drive from the keypad first. I'll set it to local mode and I'll hold the jog button down. So with any of our drives, when the drive is running and modulating, the status light will be solid green. When I release the jog button, it goes to flashing green. Now I'm holding the jog button down. The drive's actually running. It's jogging at 10 hertz, but because of that gearbox, it's geared very low and the belt is creeping along. So if I release the button, it goes back to the ready condition. I'll set it back to auto. And that way I can run it from my pedestal start stop buttons on the top there. So I'll go ahead and start it from the pedestal start button. And as you can see now, the drive is ramping up. The conveyor belt is moving along a lot faster than it was before. So it's running at 60 hertz. My status lights are all solid green. That means everything is running. And I'll go ahead and exercise the safe stop by hitting the E stop. Now you can see the the drive ramp step motor down, my door switch opens up, now I can open up this enclosure door. Now as far as my status LED indicators, the, uh, they're flashing amber and my safe, I have no safety fault and my STO has dropped out which is what I would have expected so I'll go ahead and reset my e-stop and clear the fault and start the drive again. So after I clear the fault you can see that my statuses are all green again and I'll go ahead and start the drive one more time and the drive is now ramping back up to 60 Hertz the conveyor is moving along at a faster speed so now what I'll do is I'll exercise the safe limited speed flipping that switch the drive goes to a safe speed and my door switch will activate now I can open the enclosure door and go inside now I close the door and I can resume my regular speed and as you can see, the conveyor now is ramping back up to its normal speed. When I turn safe limited speed on, you can see that my I.O., my inputs are high, they drop out, my output goes on. And that is an indication that my door switch is now active. I can set it back to run at regular speed. Now in the next video, we'll go over how to configure all this in Logics.